Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Message. Let's begin with a prayer. Let us pray. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That is a prayer for quiet confidence that I took from our wonderful Ashes to Alleluia Lent in a Bag booklet. This contains many different ideas on ways to pray, different styles of prayer, and different prayers themselves. And that is a prayer that comes out of our prayer book. So our prayer book has some wonderful prayers in it, in the pages, in the 800 numbered pages of our prayer book, prayers for various times and occasions. And sometimes you might find it particularly difficult to pray. It might be a challenge to try to come up with the words of prayer. And at those times I would encourage you to go to that section of the prayer book and take a look and use some of the prayers that are in there. They are beautifully written. And it can be helpful at times if you're feeling stuck in prayer to go to already prepared prayers and to use them. So that's just one, one suggestion for you. Wonderful ideas in this Ashes to Alleluia Lent in a Bag booklet. We are focusing on prayer practices during this Lenten season. Lots of ideas, as I said, in that booklet. There are also uh, videos on our website of different people, Ann Kimball and Doug Lind and some others, who are going to be doing different prayer, talking about different prayer practices and how to engage in different prayer practices. Prayer practices that are meaningful for them and then how, how they go about uh, uh, doing them. So I encourage you to, uh, to take a look at the website and check out those prayer practices. Today I want to talk a little bit about a prayer practice that is detailed in our booklet. It is the Ignatian Examine. The Examine. Uh, comes from St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, who um, taught a particular kind of prayer that is an examination. That's why it's called the examen. It's an examination of your day. It is prayerful reflection on the events of the day. It's typically done at the end of the day before retiring for bed as a kind of looking back over, over the day. It helps to detect God's presence and to discern God's direction. That's the goal of the examen, is to detect God's presence and discern God's direction in one's life. One becomes aware of the love with, with, with which God looks upon them. I'll say that again because I didn't say it very well. One becomes aware of the love with which God looks upon them. That's wonderful. So there are five, five different ways of reflecting on your day in the examen. The first is gratitude. Wonderful to start with gratitude. Looking back on God's gifts and blessings that day and giving thanks for them. So you start off with gratitude looking back on God's gifts and blessings and giving thanks for them. Then there's petition. That's the second part. To ask God for the gift of insight and the grace to know God's will. To pray for the gift of God's insight and the grace to know God's will. Then there is the review. This is kind of the center of it. You look back on the day. You notice the stirrings of the heart. 
thoughts that God may have planted in you. You ought look also for the things that were not of God. So you look back at the day and look at what was of God, those moments when you had a sense of God's presence, and also for those things that were not of God. Thoughts, attitudes, actions that were not loving and kind. The fourth part after that examination is to ask for forgiveness, acknowledging a forgiving God, and asking God to remove the burdens of the heart, to remove the things that were harmful or that stood in the way of loving relationships with God and with others, asking for forgiveness. And then the fifth piece is called renewal. And that's a look ahead to the next day. And with God's help, to plan how to live in the ways that God desires for you. So it's a looking back, an examination, a review, but then it's this looking ahead and planning. Concrete ways, concrete steps in how to walk in God's love the next day. Those are the five steps. Gratitude, petition, review, asking for forgiveness, renewal, that looking ahead, and then you conclude with the Lord's Prayer. And it's as simple as that. About 15 to 20 minutes generally to accomplish, to accomplish that particular pattern of prayer. The Ignatian examine helps us to grow in our awareness of God with us, where God is calling us, where God is leading us, each and every day. I encourage you to try it and to try some of the other suggestions uh, for prayer pa patterns that are found here in the Lent in a Bag booklet. Two announcements, two important announcements. The first is the annual meeting, which will take place this Sunday, February 21st at 11.30 a.m. on Zoom. It's going to uh, begin with the year in pictures, a wonderful video of the year in pictures, and then we will conduct the business of the annual meeting, which will include hearing summaries of reports, of course, thanking people, lots of people to thank for, for lots of wonderful things and wonderful ministries, and we will elect uh, the new vestry members. You can find the link for the annual meeting in the Friday brief. It's going to be a part of my lead article. Click on the link. The annual meeting booklet will be included there, so you can click on the link to get that, and the minutes of the last annual meeting will be on there. We'll be approving the minutes, so they'll be included on that. If you would like hard copies of either the annual meeting booklet or the minutes, you can stop by the office and get those. So the annual meeting this Sunday at 11.30 a.m. on Zoom. I hope to see you there. This Wednesday, we continue our Christian Education Forum series, 6 p.m. on Wednesday, also on Zoom. This Wednesday is the practice and presence of God in business dealings, which will be moderated by Doug Lind and features Lee Cooper and Jonathan Dean, who will be discussing how faith, ethics, and business work together. The practice and presence of God in business dealings this Wednesday at 6 p.m. Be safe and well, and God bless you.